next the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Alright, let's get it going. Cold main event of the evening. For the interim heavyweight championship of the world. Here it comes to the octagon. From Southland, England. Tom Aspinall, a big man, a man that can knock out anybody in this division. He's got agility. Look at that black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, pro since 2014. He's won 12 fights in his career. He's the man I believe can go toe to toe and gave a fight to Pavlovich. Well, he's got his chance right now. This is all or nothing tonight. Madison Square Garden, UFC. This is gonna be insane as two Goliaths will fight for the vacant UFC interim heavyweight championship of the world. Here comes the man. Strong as hell. Olovsky Rostov, Russia. Also has phenomenal power. When he hits, you go down. He's got multiple first round knockouts. The guy also can knock out anyone and everyone in this division. Division UFC Octagon, November 24, 2018. Shane of Iron won six fights in a row by knockout. Sergey Pavlovich is a phenom. Most of you recognize, looks like a bit. Fatal and Bellio, like what you can see. And we'll see what will happen. The heavyweights have entered the octagon. That will give you the tail of the day for this championship match. 30 years of age, 6 foot 3, 260 pounds for Pavlovich. 29 years of age, 6 foot 5, 254 for Aspen out. A 6 reach advantage for Pavlovich. And when the action begins, the referee in charge of the octagon is going to be the off time. And this is the moment you and she fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Oh, another big move by Aspinall. 
Is it going to relate to our grappling? Oh, look at that! Look at that! Espinal supports our bar! Oh my! Can you end it right now? Oh, oh, no, I think he's going to get out of it. Yes! Pavlovich gets out of it! And now he's on full card! Incredible side control, both fighting some punches. Good punches by Aspinall from the bottom. And now, is he looking to pass? Yeah, now Aspinall! As Pavlovich is back, this is where Aspinall wants Pavlovich. In a way, wants him to grapple, and now we find it! Pavlovich, we haven't seen Pavlovich be like that since Alistair Wolfer did. Aspinall is putting it to a book. On full mount, Aspinall all over this bleeding on top of a white eye of a, of a Pavlovich. Oh. And now going back to half guard, side control, side northwest. Nice punch again, now we opened it up more that eye. Now north south, sorry, north south position. Two minutes remaining in the first round of this interim heavyweight championship of the world. Vacated it by John Bones Jones. So far, dominant round by Tom Aspinall. A minute and a half, side control for Aspinall. Well, there are a few things more fun than that. Nice rip shots here. And now Pavlovich puts Saspinal on his back and he's got the full mount with one minute remaining in this first wide crowd of this championship fight. Now on half guard, Pavlovich not doing much on half guard or full guard. Now he's back in the full mount. Hadgard fighting a punch by Pavlovich. 30 seconds remaining in the first round. Pavlovich in good position to palm. Oh, he lands one. Another one in the ribs. Oh, beautiful sleep by Pavlovich. Aspinall with five seconds remaining. And the round will end. Aspinall on top. What a round by the British. Tom Aspinall, look at this feet to the gun. Ooh. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? So she the only going to show That's the knee. Exactly what oh, finally they're going to show something on the ground. A nice punch. But they should have shown the thing that we all wanted to see. That flying arm bar attempt by Aspinall. Impressive for a guy 250 pounds right now. Once I tried it, I almost lost my back. All right, round two of this interim MMA championship. Can I get Aspinall to control that first round? Got into the graphic that he wanted. Now is the help of Pavlovich. Also Aspinall, because he has to ground down uh, Pavlovich. And Pavlovich and picks one now. Nice job by Aspinall. Oh! Big one by Pavlovich. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count this one. Nice job. Oh, going for that takedown. Is he going to get it? Nice reverse. Takedown defense. And now Pavlovich is going to ask it all about the cage. Big punches and ease from both guys. Both guys are landing. There's some swelling now. Right on the right eye of uh, Aspinall. Another takedown attempt. Oh, and another one stuffed by Pavlovich. Pavlovich with a nice punch. Oh, look at that. Pavlovich good for a takedown. He's going to take back off of it. This is the co-main event of this UFC Life of Madison Square Garden. Another light up with championship. All right, Aspinall with a takedown. And now more bleeding on the face of Pavlovich. Pavlovich looking for a GOT choke. And look at that, Aspinall from the guard attacking the body. Really impressive. Aspinall is impressive. This is exactly the fight Aspinall wants. And now he's going for a triangle choke or an arm by the conduct. He's far from getting a good defense by Pavlovich for now. And it looks like he's going to get away with it. Yep, Pavlovich is going to survive this arm triangle. Two minutes remaining. Another time he's going to survive. 
Pavlovich so far defending it well. Imagine that. Aspinall with the biggest win of his career, submitting the dangerous Pavlovich. Oh, he's going to escape for yes. With a minute 20 remaining in the second round. Close round, Aspinall could take the round via the takedowns. Oh, big punches by Aspinall. One minute remaining, second round. What a fight so far. Continues to apply pressure here at half four. Pavlovich. Pavlo trying to try to pass another time goes to that triangle. Now the question is, who's the more tired? We both all this could be seen in. This is tighter than the first two. Can Pavlovich get out? 13 seconds. Will Pavlovich survive? Yes, he does. And the second one is on the books. What a fight! Back at some of the from that last one. Look at those knees. Those knees hurt. Aspinall is like the knees. But again, for me, this could possibly be a 2 0 round for Aspinall on Pavlovich. But again, who will be more tired in a way where even if Aspinall had the submission, it's tiring trying to keep a guy like Pavlovich on an arm triangle. This is where stamina, guts, and who wants it more starts here in that third round. Big right hand by Pavlovich. To start the third round. Will they stand and burn? Like heavyweights normally do. Or will the grappling take over and we've got our answer? Yes, and oh, with another takedown. The Englishman. And now look at that. Trying to submit him again. Is he going to get it? I don't think he has it. Nope, he doesn't have it. He's going to get away from it right now. Great defense again by Aspinall. Nice punch by Pavlovich from the ground. Now half guard. Both landing great punches. And those body punches is gold for Aspinall, I strongly believe. Going further than this fight. Three rounds. Nobody expected them to go. Three rounds because they could both knock it out. Now going for that crucifix. And Pavlovich is stuck in the crucifix. Now he's out. Three minutes remaining. Aspinal is all over Pavlovich. Wow. Now back on full guard. Now what do you do if you're Pavlovich? Sure you want to stand up? And Aspinal so far is fighting a perfect fight. Grappling is ineffective, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, now a half guard. Two minutes remaining. And now full mount for Aspinal. A clinic. Oh, are they going to come up? No. Beautifully done by Aspinal by Wizard. Sound strike on the side. Wow, wow. Aspinal taking over. No answer for Pavlovich. Full mount. Unbelievable. One minute in the third round. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent. Look at that. Aspen, a long lady. Pavlovich, a centimeter move. Another full mouth, unbelievable. What a clip. And then Aspen, oh! Just missed with that one. Oh! And it's close. The referee is moving forward. That was a lot of noise. Now he's in a better position. 10 seconds. In this third round, and for the third straight round, Thomas Vidal is on top of a Tiger Pavlovich. As we go to the championship rounds. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of how
high level mixed Again, martial arts stand up, Pavlovich has a chance. chance. But again, he's got to stop those feet down. Did a great job in round two. <laughs> round three was another story. All right. Fourth round. Not too many people thought this was going to go for round. Oh, big kick and a punch. Oh, it's been out. Big punch on one. On Pavlovich, and now Pavlovich is letting loose. Asvidal is ready to back. No! Great grappling. Is he going to take him down? Look at that! Power bomb on Pavlovich! Asvidal with a monster takedown on uh, Pavlovich. And now going in for the Kimura. One of my favorite submissions. Kimura. Oh, is he going to get it? No! Gonna escape, but this thing's going on more. And Pavlovich on guard now. Sergey Pavlovich is on full guard. Let's see what he does. Good short punches. Espinal, very dangerous from his back. Espinal is impressive. Look at that. He is letting loose. And now is he gonna take his back? Yes. Espinal has Pavlovich's back. And he has a chance to let him blow. Oh! Nice reversal by Pavlovich! Nice kick! Stand up! Not much in this fight! Oh, look at that! Pavlovich backed up in the octagon. Nice jab! Oh! To the body! Oh! Big knee! By Espinal! Another arm bar attack! Gets it this time! Is he going to submit him? Aspinal is incredible here. Pavlovich is going to escape. And he's going to land on the full guard like last time. Can Pavlovich take advantage or is he willing to stay or to get up as he thinks has better advantage in striking? But full guard is a full guard. Good defense by Aspinal. So far, no damage. That's not the wizard. And look at that! Espinal! Oh! Triangle choke attack! Triangle choke! For Pavlovich! No, it won't go! He ain't gonna get it, no? Not for now! Nice attempt by Pavlovich! Wow! Great escape and still in full guard with 50 seconds remaining and now we stand up! Oh! Espinal drops Pavlovich! The crowd goes nuts! The first knockdown of the fight! And the fourth one! Oh! Stiff job by Espinal! Another one! Nine seconds! Oh! One hand by Espinal! And the round ends! What a fight! Brilliant strategy by Tom Espinal! Drops Pavlovich with that kick! It almost closed the show, but holy mother of God! That when you get somebody hurt that bad, and you don't shut the door. It, to be clear, Aspinall won all four rounds for now. And who would have thought those two behemoths will go to a fifth and final round? Pavlovich needs a knockout, in my opinion, to win the fight. Aspinall just needs to do what he did the previous four rounds. I see. Oh! Aspinal wants Pavlovich! Oh, nice! Counter by Pavlovich! Oh, another one! Pavlovich connects! Nice kick by Aspinal. When is he going to go for that grappling? Or is he willing to stand as he knocked him down? Oh, Aspinal! Oh, another one! Try go choke! Is he going to get him? Is he going to get the triangle choke on Pavlovich? Is Pavlovich going to want to slam it on a rampage? Oh! No, he gets off and now it's side control by Pavlovich. Now half guard. Three minutes and a half in the fifth round. Good position for Pavlovich, but he needs a finish to win this fight. Now he's got his back. Pavlovich, attempt to a submission. 
Very good damage in this position. Back to fourth cycle. Four down, three minutes remaining. He cannot panic. He has to find a way to get back to his back. Lay on his back. He's got to get his back back to the back. And the wizard, oh, is Espinal in the game? Yes, he does. Espinal back on top. Defensive transition. You don't want wow. a guy like this. He's so good at controlling the position. Four down. Excellent position. Aspinall is en route to a unanimous decision here. He's going for another submission attempt. Oh, is he going to get it? No, I don't think he has it. One minute, 50 remaining in the fight. Aspinall all over Pavlovich. Can he finish? One minute and a half. What a performance by the Baron from England. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms Incredible. of making sure that every strike counts is an issue for him. He's making every single one of them. One minute remaining. Another submission attempt. It's close. Is he gonna get him? 35 seconds. Will he submit him? No. All oh, reversal by Pavlovich. 20 seconds. Pavlovich, another up. Chance for Pavlovich. Does he have enough? 10 seconds. Pavlovich in knockout. Nice kick. Four seconds. And the fight is over. It is the final form in life. Wow. We're all building to this moment, and the underdog challenger comes up large with a striking game tonight. He's going to be the new champ. I mean, he came up big. You can't prepare yourself for he your new he interim heavyweight champion. He Tom Aspen. The striking. Dominant performance. Unbelievable. Look how he dropped them there with that kick. Pavlovich couldn't, couldn't do nothing. Had his little moments. The official decision is Cannot in muster up here's Bruce, Bruce Buffer with the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, the go to the score cards with the decision. All three judges scored this contest 50 45. And the winner by unanimous decision. And. In total, two stun from Aspinall, one knockdown Aspinall, 38 out of 65 significant strike for the Brit, 16 out of 44 for the Russian, total strike 150 out of 208, 76 out of 137, only two takedowns for Pavlovich, 3 out of 6 for Aspinall, 3 minutes 6 in control for Pavlovich, 12-51 for Tom Aspinall. The judges had it 50 45 for all for Tom Aspinall. Congratulations to the new UFC interim LA champion, Tom Aspinall.